Neil, you must be very disappointed, very frustrated with that one, yeah? yeah of course. Um, you know, first half, as we know, was was chalk and cheese with the second half. The second half was miles better until we sort of lost our way once they scored a game. We were chasing the game, but up until we scored, I thought it was much better, much better intensity. Um, obviously got the penalty, had, Enzo scored a great goal um, and their goal was their first shot in the second half. So, you know, that's tough to take because when you're, when you're having a sticky spell, when it's not going your way, um, these things happen, you know, one shot, one goal. But the, the first half was very nervy and uh, I spoke about it in the press, about that sort of 10% that, that managers can't deal with and can't give the players, they need to get that back themselves. Um, but you could see it right from the word go. Every touch, every pass was was loose, was nervous, and um, that then caused us to be a yard behind on everything. Why do you think that was? Why were they so nervous? I don't know. I think the performances of late, we you know we've got high expectation. That they're not. They haven't been good enough. We haven't started games well enough. We always go out with the right intention. We try to play a front three against their back three and be brave. We wanted a sort of. You know, get the ball and try and get one v one with them at the back, and you know we just lost too many battles. We lost them at that end. We lost them at that end, and before you know it, you you're sort of chasing around, and then we didn't get enough passes in our first two or three passes. Kept going loose and kept turning the ball over, but that comes from nerves. And then before you know it, they smell blood, and you know it's it was a, a difficult tide to turn in the first half. Um, you know, second half. We, we try to throw the shackles off them a bit and somehow get them to play without any th fear and they did and they were miles better um, and then obviously the one shot kills us, kills us later on. I, I know you say it, it felt better in the second half but that first half performance it felt like probably the poorest half of football mm. I've seen all season from Nuts. Mm. Did yeah. it to you? Yeah, I couldn't, I'm not going to disagree and you know, I know we expect more from ourselves. I, I'm pretty sure the fans will expect more than we're giving at the moment in the last five games. It was only a month ago we played Dagenham and people were raving about the performance with 10 men and, and how we played, how we started that game, the problems we caused them right from the word go and um, we've just lost our way. And like I said, we worked hard in training yesterday. I don't shout on Ola at the players. I try and constantly give them confidence. Um, and I just said to him in there, we need to find find it from ourselves a little bit, that sort of 10, 15 percent that means we're half a yard slower than we was in every pass, in every touch, in every challenge. We just, you know, I, I alluded just in the press to Liverpool, but, you know, they haven't become a bad team overnight, but somehow they're struggling to find what they had prior. And we seem to be going through that at the moment. Are you leaving it to the players then to try and find that 10 or 15 percent? And if that if they can't find it, then then what? Well, we, it's not a case of me leaving it to them. It's a case of that's the bit within them that we have to find. My job is to keep encouraging confidence, keep working with them, keep believing in them, keep trying to get them to believe in each other, keep making sure we're organised. You know, believe it or not, we did loads of work yesterday on this game and, and we should have been really organised from the word go. But that confidence meant people were doing the weird things, wrong things. And that's, like I've talked about before, anxiety and... Uh, it's not been good enough. These aren't bad players. The, they were good players, you know, a month ago. They're not bad players all of a sudden. Um, we just need to find the key and we need to find it together. We need to stick together. It's the only way out. I need to keep encouraging them. We need to maybe have some chats on Thursday and, and you know, find out where we are. And we certainly need to start games better because the last five first halves have been really, really poor. And I've had to change the shape. And again... It's not a tactical thing. It's not, oh, what's he doing setting us up like that? Today we went to go 3v3 and try to be brave. But if you don't get your passes in and you're losing every battle, it doesn't really matter what tactics the manager plays. Uh, I assume confidence is, is pretty low right now. Do you need confidence to play this style of football as well? Yeah, um, but we're, we're, you know, we've talked about being willing to mix it up. You know, We talked about that yesterday in training. We did some work on it in training. But maybe that caught between passing and mixing it up means we turn the ball over more often and then we become more susceptible so you know decision making um, the intensity they worked out in the first half was miles better than us they won every battle they won every header they beat us up at that end they beat us up at that end and as players you know you're not telling me Conor Rawlings and Alex Lacey aren't a very good pairing in this league but the second half they were miles better than the first but that's happened at Chesterfield that's happened a few times and again I can only put it down to just doubt, lack of trust, that little bit of, you know, it takes 10% off of you. And as a team, if you get all them little percentages come off the team, you become a bang ordinary team, which is what we've performed like for, for a few games now. You must be tempted to shout and scream at all at them. 
there's a time for shouting and screaming. You know, I did it at half-time at Oxford. I challenged them at half-time today and got a much better performance. But as a manager, you know, you could say, well, you get the tactics wrong in the first place if you haven't overcome at half-time. But it almost it shows me that it's a confidence thing within them because one nil down, we've got nothing to lose. And the manager's told us we've got nothing to lose, go and be brave, go and put, and all of a sudden you become a good team. But why don't you start like that? And that's not how we send them out. We don't send them out not to start like that, but you know, we get back foot too early. Are you tempted to do something drastic? I mean, you're you kind of mainstays in that team, your Reeves, your Doyles, your people like that in the team all season long. Are you tempted to do something drastic and go a completely different route? Um, well, I'll, if people deserve to be in, I mean, I'm going to have to rotate the squad as we go along anyway, but if people are performing better in training and have got a better mentality than them players to be the ones to help dig us out of this, um, then of course I would do it. But if I don't think that's the case... You're that not, sounds like a no. <laughs> well, you know, people have got to perform. There's, you know, there's people not in the squad today and I'm sure they'll want to knock on my door on, on thing. And I hope they do because they have to raise their game. I have to trust them. They have to show me that they're trustworthy to be in this team because when the team's down, you need men. And we've got men in this team. We've signed some men. We've got men. They need to come and show it now. The gap is opening up again between yourselves and that one automatic spot. Do you mm. think that's still attainable? Well, we're, we'll be halfway through the season now. It feels like you're coming towards the end because it's been a long season. We're halfway through the season. We know we're capable of going on a run. But if we carry on like we are, then, then it will be too much to, to catch up. But we know we're capable of going on a run. We've just got to find that little something that sparks us off again. Everyone goes through these periods, um, but we're underperforming. I'm not going to deny it. We're underperforming as a group. Me, Greg, the, the management team, this thing, we're underperforming. And, you know, I can say we've still lost two in 12 since the turn of the year, but the standards are high here and we, we should be better. And with this group of players, we should be better. And uh, we've got to be. How'd you turn it around then? I've been through this situation before. I have to lead from the front. You know, it's a time when they look to the leader. The leader needs to be calm. The leader needs to help. He needs to try and help the group and and encourage them and work with them. It's not as easy as just chopping and changing and not talking to them and having the ump with them. That that gets you nowhere. They need they need to feel confidence. They need to be. I've got to bring them together. Try and get them cohesive. Try and get them believing in themselves. But I've said this before loads of times. It's only a win that's going to really do it. It's only starting a game and going 2 new up that's really going to do it. I can set them up. The rest they've got to do on the back of it. But I'm not a shout on Olera at them. So they shouldn't be playing with fear, but they are at the moment.